guys, Ralph here. True power, 100 plus mile per hour. All things that go fast, <laughs> except cars. Throwing fast, running fast, biking fast, jumping higher, all things. And I'm gonna give you the secret here, right? I can't give you how to implement it necessarily, but I'm gonna give you the secret to athletic superiority right here, okay? Stay tuned. Let's start with a couple, uh, 10 double kettlebell snap, uh, swings. Great, great exercise, and I'll explain in a minute. Very important that you bend from the hip flexors. Right here at the corner where your torso meets your trunk, so you're not bending over and hurting the back. That's the worst thing you can do. Be keep the back straight during the entire thing. Breathe through the nose and compress. Does not get much better than that. Not only is that a great workout, it's a great warm up. And that's how we, I'll tell you, how you implement this is a whole thing altogether. Okay. Here's the deal. As you saw in the thumbnail, PNF, proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation. Go look it up. Nothing new. The whole concept has been around for 100 years. This is what I love about kettlebells, man. You hear that endurance? 20 seconds. I'm breathing like, like I just sprinted. Anyway, PNF, proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation, been around for a long time. It's nothing new. For some reason, I'm the only one that seems to incorporate it as the central part of their athletic protocol. I don't know why. It's nothing new. It's nothing new. Anybody that uh, had any sort of courses in kinesiology, physiology, anything will know about it. It's nothing new. I'm not, I'm not reinventing the wheel here. But how it is implemented is new. Now let me tell you what it is. Very simply, without getting into a whole thing, if you want to go look it up and get you know the chemical breakdown and all that, so go ahead. You don't need that here. What PNF is, is... Again, proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation. I'm not going to re refer to it again. It's too much of a mouthful. From now on, it's PNF. You know what I'm talking about. It is, in a nutshell, the proper use of tension to create strength, flexibility, and endurance. You notice I said proper use of tension. Guys, tension is not something you want when you're trying to pitch, when you're trying to run. Uh, no. You need strength, flexibility, and endurance. You do not need tension. But the best way to get strength, flexibility, and endurance is through proper use of tension. Now, let me show you. I do this in some of my books and whatnot. Okay, and I do have a book, by the way, that explains the whole thing. It's called PNF Max. It's on my website. I'll put it at the end. My website, 20 bucks. You can have all these guys. If you inc incorporate these silly little exercises into your workout, whatever your workout may be, warm up, you don't stretch ever again. And I'll do that in another video. You do PNF. Between 5, 10 pitches in your, in your, uh, your uh, bullpen session, do some PNF. Do another 10. Do it, be incorporated. If you're doing sprints, do a quarter mile sprint, stop, catch your breath, do a little PNF, do another one. Watch how you go faster each time. Watch after the PNF, you actually throw faster each time. Okay? Anyway, with that said, let me explain this, and you do it with it by yourself in a minute. In a minute, you turn this off and get back to it, but I don't want you to do it until I tell you what to do. What you're going to do is you're going to take your thumb, and you're going to try to press it down, as far as it goes to try to touch the forearm, okay? That's about as far as I can go at the moment, okay? Now, some of you can go right down. Some of you have very flexible joints and everything can go right down. You can still 
you can still benefit from this and this demonstration as well. Some of you may not get that far. Some of you may be stiff. You may, this is all you can get. But you're going to see in a minute, in 10 seconds, when tension is applied properly, you are going to get strength, flexibility, and endurance. So what I want you to do is to go down as far as you can, whatever that may be, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Until your body says stop, and you're going to feel it. It's going to hurt. It's going to feel like there's a, there's a cramp there. I'm talking this muscle right here. Everything's backward. Right there, that muscle is going to feel like it's cramped. Okay? And that's okay. Don't stretch it. The worst thing you can do is stretch a muscle. We'll get to that in a minute. That's another video, but we'll get to that. Go until it stops and press against it so you get tension. Now, that one muscle that I talked about is going to feel like it's cramping. And count to 10. One, two, three, four, five. Now, look at the space. Seven, eight, nine, ten. You let it go for just a second. And then you relax it and push it down, and you can touch. So what did I do in 10 seconds? What did I do? I gave that one silly little muscle. I gave that muscle more strength, flexibility, and endurance in 10 seconds. Now, let me ask you this. If you had a workout that took about 15 minutes, Okay, I do this with my student, my clients all the time, especially the first workout, my pitching clients. I'll meet you down the ball field. You get completely warmed up, completely warmed up. And I go down. With my radar gun. You completely warmed up. Okay. Then when they get warmed up. I give, them, give me a best fastball. I'll give you five of them. Get the radar gun. Let's just say it tops out at 75. Okay? Then what I do is I give them an entire 15-minute workout of just PNF. Okay? And what that does is in basically, just what I did with the thumb, in 10 seconds in each major muscle group, 15 seconds, 20 seconds, but it doesn't matter. In each major muscle group, you are going to do exercises that do the exact same thing that you just, just did with your thumb. Use proper use of tension for strength, flexibility, and endurance. Okay? And when you're all done, think about it. Every major muscle group, from the shoulders down to literally your feet, every major muscle group has had that much more flexibility, that much more strength, and that much more endurance. Okay? What do you think that's going to do for your fastball, your 75-mile fastball? You go right back to it. You don't throw any harder. You haven't thrown any pitches. You've just done 15 minutes worth of PNF, this exact workout. Immediately, you're up to 77. In 15 minutes. Think about that. 15 minutes, you go two miles per hour, one mile per hour, three miles per hour. The most I've ever had is four miles per hour after those. Okay? With no more effort than what you were using before. No more effort. And that's the thing. When you can throw harder with less effort, boom, you never hurt your arm. That's what you're after. And what have you done? Every muscle in your body has gotten that little bit more flexibility that little bit more strength that we did to that, and you got it. Now, here's the problem. If you come back to this in 20 minutes and try to press your thumb down to your forearm, you're not going to be able to do it. The PNF doesn't work. It doesn't stay there all the time. It has to be day after day after day. Okay? Incorporated into the workout. And that is when a week later, a month later, all of a sudden, you can touch your toes. You can put your your hands down flat on the ground when you're trying to uh, touch your toes. Do flat splits. Absolutely, that is what you do. Now, here's the thing. 
you want to turbocharge PF at PNF, you put some resistance. That thumb is the kettlebell. That thumb is your body. That is how you incorporate PNF. Every single muscle that you use in the kettlebell swing that I'm going to do now. I just gave my entire body more strength, flexibility, and endurance. That's how you do it. That's how you run faster. That's how you jump higher. I don't care what your sport is. Basketball is the best thing you can do. Never touch a weight again. In 20 seconds, I did more than you can absolutely do. Weights break you down and hurt you. That's all there is to it. Don't do it. Anyway, I'll have more tomorrow. Get my book. 20 freaking bucks. Don't tell me you don't have 20 bucks. Don't tell me you don't have 20 bucks. I'll put it on the end in my website, order it, and start incorporating it into work out whatever athletic endeavor you are, you are working with. That's that. Have a great day. Eat your fruits and vegetables. And live your life with true power, not fake power, not steroid power, not big muscle power. Live your life with true power.